spent the morning loading some film. I had to uh, clear out all my film holders from all the film from Death Valley. Load up a bunch of LVF 50. And it's really nice being back here in Zion. Um, the, the rain that went through the Death Valley area, it really helped to kind of reset the washes here on the east side of the park. But there's something that I'm absolutely surprised by. If you take a look back behind me here, you see that there's actually a little bit of fall color left on some of the trees. And quite honestly, this doesn't look any different than when I left at the uh, beginning of November. Uh, my last day here, I think it was like November 4th or something like that. Now it's January 12th and it looks exactly the same. It's almost as though it's somehow been preserved by something, I don't know what. The damp sand here is frozen, um, which probably makes it a little bit better because the quicksand isn't as prevalent. But I'm just trying to be very careful as far as what I walk on um, because the sand actually looks quite nice. It's got that kind of partially wet, partially dry look to it. And there could be some compositions there. Maybe even some stuff that would look like it's from a fall trip. I'm also very um, careful here because what I'm standing on right now probably is quicksand, but it's frozen over on the top. The washes though, they look better than when I was here in the fall. These washes are just so absolutely pristine right now. There must have been a decent amount of rain that swept through here. And then with the cold temperatures, it froze all the mud patterns. And at this point, I'm just trying to be very careful not to walk on any of it because I don't wanna walk through something that might be a composition for me later on or for someone else. And then there's some areas like right here are some frosty leaves, which also looks really nice. I know I'm gonna find something. I just gotta keep looking and just stop every like you know, five, 10 feet, look around and see what I could find. So absolutely beautiful. Let me check that out. A little fall color right there. And also fall color behind me over here. It's like my fall trip round two. So while wandering the washes here, I was kind of keeping my eye out for some frozen leaves because they're all over the place. I was looking for just kind of a nice, good looking cluster of leaves, preferably in reflected light. That's exactly what I found. So if you look back behind me here, all these nice leaves here, and I went ahead and set up a composition. I did place that maple leaf right there in the middle because I wanted something that had a slightly different color than the other ones. A lot of the other ones are kind of more of a coolish tone, but that's a kind of a yellowish reddish maple. And I place that leaf right in the middle of the composition because I think the shape of the leaf works really, really well for that. I had to overextend the bellows and, uh, but I, it's, it's tricky from the standpoint that I'm trying to angle this camera kind of awkwardly, but the Arca Swiss makes this really easy because I can focus with the rear standard as opposed to the front standard. So as I focus, the distance between the lens and the subject doesn't change, which makes it a lot easier. But I think this is gonna look really, really good. scene worked out. I had a pretty good feeling that if I just wandered around here long enough I'd find something that would make for a pretty good subject. I don't have any sort of frosty photos in my portfolio. So it's kind of a nice surprise to find here. Didn't really expect to find as much fall color 
as there really is. You see these trees back over here, and all up through there. Just a lot of color. And I've been coming to Zion in the winter time, I think ever since 2014, I believe. And I've never seen fall color here during this time of year. You never know what you're gonna find. much of the afternoon into the early evening just kind of scouting around and trying to see what all I could find and get some ideas as far as what I want to photograph this year. Uh, one of the shots I'd like to shoot is a ice abstract photo. I just love the way those turn out. And some of the water on the washes on the east side, it just kind of freezes in some pretty cool ways and you get all kinds of lines and stuff. So that's one of the things I was looking for today. But right now I'm down in the main canyon I decided to revisit one of the locations I photographed in the fall. I'm sure many of you will recognize the scene behind me here. Uh, this is a photo I shot, a vertical photo, the foreground rock, midground rock, and then way off in the background, probably can't see it too good, but that's where the nice yellow tree was. Uh, but I just really enjoy visiting locations I've shot in the past just to kind of get a feeling for how things change. I didn't notice something when I came over here, which I'll show you over here. I'll have to check my film and see if I can actually see it in the photo. But there's actually a bird's nest right there in that branch. And this is one of the branches that's uh, definitely gonna be visible in the photo. But it's kind of funny, but you know, visiting these locations is kind of like you know, visiting a friend in a way, because I spent so much time here kind of carefully considering the composition and uh, just really enjoying myself because the conditions were, were so nice here this year. And also, somewhere down in this area is the dial for my light meter. I actually tried to find it, but uh, it's going to be hard to find. It's a little, little black dial. So that's something I lost on the fall trip, and uh, maybe at some point on a future visit, I'll find it. But I'm going to head back to camp, grab myself some dinner, and come up with a plan for tomorrow, which will probably involve more scouting around and trying to find more subjects and seeing if I can find some ice. So we'll see you all in the morning. ad-free content and want to help me live my dream. A voluntary contribution of just $24 a year helps keep my gas tank full and my phone freezer stocked. For more information on how to support me and my work, please visit the donation section of my website at benhorn.com donate. I also have prints in my 2017 portfolio box set available on my website. You can find a direct link down below in the show notes. Thanks in advance for your support.